calories. And anyway, he was so excited with the lights, and he would hop to the living room window and look up and down the street at all the Christmas lights. And they would hop, hop, hop into the living room and look at the tree. And then he hop, hop, hopped into the kitchen where I was, and he said, you know what, Mama? Jumping up is hard work. <laughs> but on the way down, it's a free ride. <laughs> about joy. We grown-ups sometimes let the joy killers get to us. Joy killers like, well, in this Christmas season, what are some of the things that stress you out? That, that maybe should be a joy, but instead somehow managed to turn into a bird. Anybody? Shopping? Cleaning, yes. <laughs> I don't know, type of dust. I just blow on the furniture. <laughs> teaches his, uh, history and uh, geography and economics. And uh, his classes are required. If seniors want to graduate, they must pass his class. And I was one day visiting his classroom. He had a little handwritten sign about his classroom clock. Time passes, will you? <laughs> <laughs> he's he's kind of into signs, huh? He put a little brass plaque without me knowing it uh, by our front door. One day someone came to visit, I heard him laughing outside the front door, and I opened her, I said, what are you laughing about? That is so funny. They were pointing to this little plaque that uh, David put up. It said, in 1897, on this site, nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> That's a dry sense of humor. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah. But, but, and then, so laughter, proverb says it's a good medicine. I have not found any scripture on chocolate specifically. <laughs> but I keep looking. Because <laughs> you know, chocolate, it's really medicinal. I, I hear it has antioxidants in it. And Snickers bars, you know those little Snickers bars? They have 1% of your daily need of calcium. <laughs> it's true. So you only have to eat 100 of those babies. <laughs> I 
I'm in a stressful situation. I try so hard to yield not to temptation. But when things don't go my way, it's my thighs that seem to pay. And I blame it on the Nestle's corporation. <laughs> now some of you I know don't understand this. You haven't got a clue what I sing of. You don't depend upon sweet snacks as you file your income tax, nor as a substitute for unrequited love. But to those of you who share my sweet addiction and turn to chocolate when faced with an affliction, together we must pray that someday they'll find a way to make chocolate on 